All right, guys, I have this little rig set up, and it's hot. That's why it's sitting on top of my uh, my puller here. But I got a, a fitting, and I got a hole drilled in this pipe because I'm going to be trying out some AC Smart Seal external. I'm going to put it over top of that hole there. We're going to fit it around. We're going to pull a vacuum on this pipe and let it cure and see how well it handles the pressure once it's cured up. So one important step I don't think that you should leave out is to clean the pipe thoroughly. Now I've taken some sandpaper and I've cleaned up the surface of this pipe before I apply the Smart Seal external. So I cut off about three quarters of the uh, roll to try this out. And you knead it till the color is uniform and you put it around the entire pipe. And I think the secret is to pinching around the edges like I've done there to uh, make that seal. So we're gonna pressure test this. We're gonna put it in a vacuum first, then pressure test it. Let's see how it performs. So I'm speeding up the curing process by cranking the heat on the defrost on my dash. I'm gonna let it sit there for a bit and then I'm gonna pull a vacuum on it. All right, so I let this cure for about half an hour on my dash and it's solid solid to the touch, no, not soft anywhere. I'm pulling a vacuum with the NAVAC NRP6DI and the reason I'm pulling a vacuum is because I'm running through the same practice that you would run during a regular repair and anything that's soft possibly inside may get sucked into place with the vacuum pump. Okay, so we're charged up to about 415 PSI, and I've soaked this whole thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the ball valve off, and I'm going to leave it for an hour, and then we're going to come back and check the pressure. Alright, it's been just over an hour, still no bubbles. And if we go back to the gauges, we are still right on 415 there. So I think that we can say that AC Smart Seal, external, it works. I think I proved to myself that it works and I would use it when I'm in a jam and probably keep it on my truck as truck stock to get me out of a jam in unique situations. Happy H-Racking, guys.